Hi there, it's Wednesday the 14th of October 2020. We're continuing to look at how to maintain balance in life. And it's so important, of course, for us all to maintain a good balance in life. One of the balances that we have to maintain is the balance between looking after ourselves and looking after others. And we have to keep these two things in our lives in balance. We all want to look after ourselves and we all want to look after others. And sometimes we can tip the scales too much one way or the other. You know, the Old Testament tells us that the psalmist says, I have made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully on a woman. And in many other ways, the psalmist talks about himself trying to look after himself, trying to make sure that he behaved in the right way, that he was doing the right things and making the right choices in his life. And his focus, many times through the Psalms, this, the Psalms, the focus were on themselves as much as on God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, is talking about yourself. And many times over, the Psalms talks about himself. So it's right that we look after ourselves. And in the New Testament, Paul talks about himself. He says, I beat my body to make to make it my slave. And it doesn't mean he be beats himself up or self-harms. It's nothing to do with that. He's just saying that I'm trying to I'm trying to get myself under control. I'm trying to control my my lusts and desires. I'm trying to make sure that I am I am behaving well. And so it's right and proper that we look after ourselves physically and mentally and emotionally and all the other different ways that we have to look after ourselves and it's right that we have a focus on ourselves to make sure that we are doing okay but then equally the bible talks about us looking after other people verses like consider others better than yourself or love one another or look to the needs of others there are countless numbers of verses all the way through the bible which focus on the fact that we have to look out for each other, look after the poor, look after the widows and look after those who are in trouble, pray for the sick and reach out to those in need. And in all kinds of ways we are to look after other people. And it's something that we don't need to be taught, really. Um, we all know that instinctively because that's the way that God has wired people, has made people to be, to look after others. But the balance has to be there between looking after ourselves and looking after other people. And it can be quite easy to have the balance tipped one way or the other. So if we tip the balance in favour of ourselves and we spend too much time focusing on ourselves, then we can become quite self-centred, self-serving. We can become quite self-pitying. We are focused on ourselves perhaps too much. We think about what we want and how we don't have our needs met, how we are not loved in the way that we want to be loved. And we think about our lives and how things have not worked out the way that we wanted it to be worked out. We, and we can become quite trapped in our own selves. And of course, with the isolation that comes from lockdown and restrictions, etc., that can make it even worse. And and, and it can become so easy if, if you're on your own and you're sitting at home by yourself for long periods of time that you just focus on yourself all the time. And of course, when you do that, your own problems become bigger, your own needs become bigger and greater, your own disappointments become bigger, your own sense of betrayal or loneliness becomes bigger and it can become overwhelming. But equally, if the balance goes the other way and we focus too much on other people, then we can become very worn out very quickly. We are trying to help people. We're trying to care for this person and that person and pick up the phone to this person and go and visit that person and do the shopping for this person. And we can be become so focused on trying to help other people that we actually wear ourselves out and burn ourselves out. And the Bible talks about that. It says to be to be careful that you don't become weary in well-doing. And for good motives, you're trying to help other people. But very easily, if we don't look after ourselves and have that balance and become so focused on other people, we can wear ourselves out. We can also become quite gullible. We can become used 
by other people. People can take advantage. We can become slaves to the needs of others at other people's beck and call at the drop of a heart where it can become quite unhealthy. So what does the Bible say about maintaining that balance? What it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. And therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. In other words, Jesus wasn't out to focus on himself, and he wasn't out to focus on other people. He was out to focus on God. And he wanted to serve God. And that's the way to man help maintain that balance between ourselves and others is to focus on God. Speak to you again tomorrow.